Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to talk about PromQL. So Prometheus offers a flexible query language known as PromQL. So in this video, uh, we are going to talk about these two points, introduction to PromQL, then data types of PromQL. So let's start from first, what is PromQL? PromQL is a query language for Prometheus monitoring system and it is designed for building powerful edge simple queries for graphs, alerts, or derived time series. And in addition to PromQL, Prometheus provides a scrappers that fetches metrics from instances, that means any application provide metrics and a time series database, which stores these metrics over time. And this introduction to PromQL will be largely decoupled from specific tools and the non-PromQL parts of Prometheus in order to focus on the features of the language itself. So that's a PromQL. So in this video, first we will learn data types that PromQL express or sub expressions can be evaluated. So you can see here uh, from uh, in a uh, data types of PromQL. So PromQL uses four data types, scalar, range vector, instant vector, and in last string. So let's understand one by one. So firstly, what is scalar? Scalar, the expression resulting in a single constant numeric floating number is scalar. So they are just simple floating num numeric value uh, that do not have any labels. So they are just number. So you can see an example 11.99. That means it's a just simple number. So the next is string. So the string expression whose output is a string literal is a part of this category and it is currently unused in Prometheus. So string is a simple string value without any labels. So you can see an example welcome and it is very rarely used. Now it is currently unused in Prometheus. So the next is vectors. So uh, vectors are a set of time series and they include an extra dimensional as compared to scalar or string that is type. So vectors in Prometheus can be categorized into, sorry, uh, two types. There are uh, into two categories. So firstly, instant vectors and then range vector. So the first is instant vector. These vectors have a single value corresponding to each time step in the time series. So now go to the expression browser here and Run the query Prometheus hyphen HTTP hyphen total. Click on execute. So if you scroll down, so you can see here it has written all the time series with the name Prometheus hyphen HTTP hyphen request total and it has written one value of the given time series and here we have got first value you can see here for uh, one then for second 10 you can see here so that's the instant vector so the next is a range vector so this vector have a list of values corresponding to each time, time step in the time series. So range vector can return many samples for each time series. So it's the same if I add one minute here. Now click on execute. So now you can see here. So now it will return range of sample of each time series and we have four sample for each time series. You can see for each time series we have uh, four samples. So you can see for first the four samples for second for third. You can see uh, all of this. So that's the range vector. 
So that's the data types of PromQL. So in this video, we have learned what is PromQL and what is uh, what are the types of uh, data types of PromQL. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.